with haste. What's in here? myself they pursued the nautiloid perhaps they were trying to free you, you sniffing where you ain't ought to be friend might have to take that nose a strange symbol glows marked on their flesh and something within you stirs in response bothered mucking my blade with ya, but mind your manners.
Very well. Watch what you touch. Definite smells like clean. It's tight, right? Go on, more of us inside. Eh? Oh, I'm busy. Watching, like. Such a grim name for such a beautiful flower. I heard you. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Unless you bear the mark, of course. Follow the scents of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. Alas, not so much as a nibble. Food? No, not food. Another crate. growth of moss, 
the well looks unremarkable. Dry stones line the wall. At the bottom, something gleams in the dappled light. The coin disappears into the darkness, landing with a soft clink. Better not be cursed. Another step forward. Look what we got here! 
Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Cos it makes me laugh. <laughs> We ain't looking for company, maggot. Not unless you want to join him up there. <laughs> How about this? You pay a toll and go on as you like, or else you fly. Cough it up! The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your lithid power is beyond reach until you rest. to be cheap. Oh, that's how it is, is it?
time to press ahead. Just another crate. inside. Apart from an overgrowth of moss, the well looks unremarkable. stones line the wall. At the bottom, something gleams in the dappled light. The coin disappears into the darkness, landing with a soft clink. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. 
of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days.
Aradin's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. By all rights, he was a good man. I saw enough of him to agree. And I'm tired of good people dying. That's for sure. Stop me yet. Let's see. And again. Swing and swing and... Oh. Ah. Don't be grumpy. Brother. I need a quick word. We'll get to the city soon. Sure. I am not grumpy. On your face. The Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> what a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Get back, kid. I already told you I don't have it. Need something? Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Be 
wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. I expect I am your first. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. You are no less alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Decadent, then. Lacking in economy. Like so much of this world and its undisciplined people. Rest well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you break your meditation because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half-revealed. You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. No. No, of course. Silly of me to even ask. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning.
You watch him stalk away, slumped, sulking, and ready to kill. Morning. I hope last night's little unpleasantness hasn't left a bad taste in your... Well, <laughs> I hope there are no bad feelings. Oh, I have no idea. By rights, I should be cinders in this light, but someone or something is keeping me alive. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire among us? So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. She's not wrong. We're bound together, no matter what comes. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowling. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. If you must, Astarian, but give me so much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. Mm. I do so very like spicy food.
You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will... She... She... Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. I don't know any druids. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Please, any supposed new god would have an uphill battle. We know that all too well, ma'am, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. What? And... and just... leave Ed? I suppose... I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honour his sacrifice. May the Absolute guide us. They spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin, Saza. Hmm. Curious. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again.
The dog lowers his hackles, his head tilted inquisitively. Convinced that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. The dog whimpers nervously, as if to urge you on. The dog looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Looks like someone was intending to forge weapons. The inking is rough. A work in progress, surely. My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that, love, was that. <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer, about to break the silence. Of course, 
What I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more... Let's call it... refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. Tart, tart. No need for that crude cutlery of yours. As you can see, I'm amply provisioned. This is the House of Hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. Fair enough. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Come now, why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpoled head? One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Something. Go away! Ha <laughs> ha 
No bodies. No, we don't. Stop. <laughs> and you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Cause it makes me laugh. <laughs> As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. You're a true soul. I didn't know. Wouldn't dare question you. Never. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave you to it. Ah. Let's find you something to eat. So the tadpole gives us the ability to influence others. Ignore it. Deny it. This is nothing but a disease, and every use will sicken us further. <laughs> Nonsense. Any power freely given is a power well received, and this is a valuable power indeed. It's only valuable if we understand it, and we don't. Not yet, at least. Wise counsel, when the temptation calls, keep silent or suffer.
Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. We... we should keep moving. Nothing. The trick of the light. Well, looks can be deceiving. Let's just move along. Time's a rare currency for both of us. Give it a shot. <laughs> Swift as my feet can carry me. Help me down! Cut me loose! Free me and find out! Bag of Kamara. There's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. You saved me. Now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack, if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. Traps, please. On my way.
Please. We just want Marina back. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see Marina. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We... we won't ask again. Careful. Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? Bollocks. You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye-bye now. Bloody hells. She just disappeared. Ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hag has Rina. It's our sister, Marina. She's... well... She was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! You saying we should leave Rena to that monster? Is that it? Hold on, Joel. Let her talk. What would you suggest? Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel... Not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now, come on. chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched.
chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Breathe deep and move. Step carefully. There's a trap. Seems like a good moment to talk. The murderous glare of a red cap. A fey creature known for its bloodlust greets you. <laughs> that noise. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep? Something good here, I hope. Blood everywhere. Someone wasn't as fortunate in their choice of cancer. That so. you have a look. Wits and blades always sharp.
I must keep going. What to do? Moving ahead. Brothers. I guess they didn't find their sister. Whoever did this wanted them to suffer. We need to be careful. Open up. Have a look.
I have something to ask. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter? I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Now, I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. True. And I have no proof to offer but my word. If you wish it, our paths need not cross again. I'm hunting a vampire spawn. And it's a little too bright for you to be my prey. His name is Astarian. But I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. Not this time. My orders are to capture him. Oh. Uh, and bring him where, exactly? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. I don't know. I'm sure a vampire spawn could still rip out your throat if he felt like it. He is right, unfortunately. They are only weak when compared to their masters. During the day, we have the advantage. But at night, when they hunt, you'll not find a more deadly quarry. We've all survived so far. Let's focus on that. It would still be wise to post guards at night. The threat is real. Indeed it is. We should do something about this threat. Wait, that's it. We're just walking away. Fine, but if this comes back to bite us, it's on your head. Go in peace, my friends. I pray our paths cross again. They better bloody not.
fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. The wizard thinks she's smart because she can read. You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Keep your own little nose in your own little dish, Petal. I don't like busybodies. Besides, you have bigger problems. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Because you stink. And I know the stench of Mind Flayer anywhere. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? A devil? <laughs> Spare me. Blathering windbags in love with the sound of their own voices. I'm the safer bet. Plus, you'll get to keep your soul. depends on the job. A removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head, kiss it for luck, then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. Not many know that spell. You're close, but not quite right. Your eyeball is staying in your head. Although it would look delightful on a necklace. Ethel, can I please? Quiet, you've had enough pampering. And you? My door is always open, Petal. Aunt Yettel is here for you. entire body shakes. It ribbits erratically as if in pain. The creature's limbs shake with effort, hind legs ready to pounce.
never wanted the easy path. What's hiding here? Surely get his girl, Danny. Ain't moaning if it's true. Out of sight, out of mind. Goblins ahead. A war drum. One of those can summon fighters far and wide. There's a trap. his nose from his fingers. Ain't fair! Damn, quit moaning. Ain't moaning if it's true. This is off limits. Get to the main gate, or I'll plug you full of arrows.
Stop fidgeting. Come on. More likely you gave them fleas, you. Probably getting filled. A lot on my mind. Hmm. What's that? These boots have seen everything. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. Torment. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. Beast reeks of brimstone and offal. Every breath is thick with blood. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Gnolls, vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. As the life fades from her eyes, the knoll within her dies too, stillborn. Step quick. <laughs> 
won't be returning alone. Waste a step. some punishment. On the move. Can't give up. On my way.
Taking position. Feet out fast. On I go. have seen everything. breath. Best be on my way. Still breathing, despite everything, at the ready. If they're leaping from hyenas left and right. Let them come. We will rip them from top to tail. Slow down.
Anything of use? No traps, please. Welcome to Joaquin's Rest. West, Baldur's Gate. East, El Torel. A dragon rider. My kin are near. It's huge. It would be too much to hope that's nothing to do with us, wouldn't it? Seeing one, and then they won't stop pestering you. Smoke. Something's burning. Sleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. Only a coward would speak ill of the fallen. Would that the arrow had pierced your heart instead. A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. Shouting. Someone needs help. Drow craft armor. No magic left, though.
what path lies before me. Let's have a look. Eager for battle. <sighs> At least things have stayed interesting. to do. Trust no one. Eager for battle. All right. What now? Flackets will be done. Careful, I bind. Can't give up now. Light on my feet. Mind my step. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Wonder if the gods are watching me. More likely you gave them fleas, you filthy bugger. See the absolute from here? I can! Don't waste a step. Never wanted the easy path. If 
not over, then through. Again? That's enough creeping around. Lads, attack!
How much farther can I go? Just out of view. Have to keep going. from there. position. ahead. Slow down.
outmaneuver them. I will ascend. <sighs> Another fight. Let's go. inside. Take you. Is that blood? No, never mind.
What's in here? Never a dull moment. Need to find a way forward. Something's on my mind. Looking at a future true soul, you are. Boss Ragslin says I'm next in line. Tribe? Tribe! is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my... from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws here. Don't give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. The voice is gone. Muted by this... this gith relic. Why does a half-elf carry it? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. I... I am a servant of Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. I need to bring that artifact back there. No matter what. I can't tell you any more. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. Good 
gladly. And the drow? Sounds like they've captured themselves a bard. And with scepter abraid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash, the captives were many, goblin kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had. Let you collide. <laughs> Who's that? Friend of yours? You up to something? Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying? To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <coughs> draw Ragslin, draw Ragslin. Um, um, I am a draw Ragslin. Um, um, come choose, draw Ragslin. Um, you broke him. Wait, wait. Draw Ragslin, we pray, we... Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, oh, look what you've done. Yeah. Of course. My name's Gripper, idiot. Yes. Let me find them in one piece. Looks like the booze got the better of them. They're practically unconscious. Loose brickwork. Best not lean against it. It's 
killing me. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. be on my way. to break. if the gods are watching me. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. To battle. <laughs> Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. of goblins, of course, filthy little beasts, but I do like a good den of debauchery. It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free and a true vampire. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. So it would seem. Hopefully he bumps into some knolls while stumbling around at night, and that's the last we hear from him. I didn't do anything. I was kidnapped, just like you. It seems Cazador wants me back. I'm not happy about it either, you know. 
especially for one of them to turn up. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Kazador not appeared and saved me. <sighs> well, he didn't mention the slave clause at the time. And now he sends a Gur monster hunter for me. It's a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, he can reach me. And he wants me back. Maybe he wants to make an example of me, to show what happens to runaways. Or maybe he thinks death is too good for me. We just have to be vigilant, keep our wits about us, and kill any monster hunters on sight. Chuck. Goblins. Not a shred of dignity to be found among them. Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a Mind Flayer is born. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the Parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Most would think us mad for wandering right into the middle of a goblin war clan. I suppose that goes to demonstrate just how desperate we are. Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate, no matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. I told you already. I surrendered my memories for the sake of the mission. Shah's secrets must be protected. Duty demands it. Once I fulfill my mission, I can have my memories restored. That's not a luxury open to many people, us included. I have my faith to turn to instead. You should find something of your own. The wound on my hand. 
it never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Home. Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. Take my pick. Without delay. lies before me. Hey, help us out. Says here the goblinoids are obstreperous and malodorous. What's that mean? Ain't that the truth? Proper stink around here, now we've settled it. And all that ruckus makes it hard to concentrate on reading. That's what the bloke who wrote this said. Proper impressed by my brain smarts, he was. Said he's writing a book about the absolute. Lads didn't like that. Said he was a spy or some such. Think they've locked him in the cells already. Well, I had a good chin wag with him, though. Interesting bloke.
He wanted to know if we felt any extra booyog in the air since converting. Magic. Then what the absolute chooses, I'm brimming with it. Priestess Gut and our boss, Braxlin, are fierce and powerful now. Same as that drow. Yeah, Priestess Gut is fierce and powerful now. So's Rexlin, our boss. Them's true souls now. Just like that drow. They have the kind of booyah that comes from being chosen by a god. I ain't finished with it. There's enough reading here to last me a lifetime. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Doesn't make any sense. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. The world swims as you close, then reopen your eyes. How long have you been waiting here? A moment? A night? A ten day? Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others. Then, myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty. A touch of disgust. I cannot trust my own mind, so it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this, I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Just in time, you are transforming. Yes, you have. I saved you before. I'm here to save you again.
haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you. But for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that. But only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. You spot a name on the dog's collar. Scratch. a dream as we all did I suspect someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me the parasite has taken root it would seem every word every promise it is gay deception Wise choice. These parasites are a threat to be destroyed, not an opportunity to be exploited. I had the strangest dream last night. There was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our hands. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. Exactly. Waste not, want not. Even when it comes to mind flare parasites. Now, was there anything else? Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole, use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess in the waking world or otherwise. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? Do 
She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. What, besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? It's nothing to laugh at. Save your questions if that's how you're going to react. No, I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memories suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. to concentrate on reading. I ain't finished with it. There's enough reading here to last me a lifetime. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. You're right. Absolute rewards faith, not book learning. Take it. Maybe if I pray hard enough, I'll get some of that boo yag for myself. Inside, inside, boom! 
Doing the absolute's work. State your business now. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Reeling suddenly as if bitten. Oh, beg the pardon. You must be here to join the other true souls. Uh, please go right ahead. Oh, Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Good. I wasn't intending to. Might be we'll pay him a visit in return. That'll be some real fun. <laughs> Do you hear the absolute voice? Do you like feel flesh in inside you? I only hear her through you, priestess. Now here's somebody special. The absolute has touched you. Hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. That way nobody'll mess with you. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slobs can't see it, only us that follow. The absolute. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Your minds brush against one another, but are swiftly parted. Don't want to get intimate in front of the novices. Fair enough. Got some weird shadows in your head. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Of course, don't want this rabble interfering with true soul business. Let's go to my chapel. Oi! Priestess! Like us. We want the mark! Why do they think they're yeah. talking to a god? I wait good enough for the absolute! So that's how we would have ended up. Oi, 
come here. I ain't waiting up. Ready to clear your head. The Absolute will protect me. You don't stand a chance. for peace. That won't work.
Oi, come here. I ain't waiting around. Ready to clear your head. The abs. Light on my feet. Oi, come here. I ain't waiting around. Vision path. Picks a fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. Won't work. Again. Nothing. An efficient path. Oi, come here. I ain't waiting around. You sort of fight. Oi, come here. I ain't waiting around. You sort of fight.
mutated parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. Don't worry. You won't come to harm. I'll protect you. Your mind swells as it subsumes everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was, and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. A tentacle to be my only complaint is that you didn't want to share. I wouldn't mind indulging myself. Excellent. I'll have a rough thank you. Your can't slow down. Seems simple enough. You don't have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected.
You managed to talk your way in. No easy feat. Everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. chance I'll fit in there. <laughs> Not a chance I'll fit in there. to see the bottom. have to spend so long poking about down here I'd much rather be outside with the sun on my skin you've only just come to tolerance you're already nostalgic if you're going to complain the whole way by all means return topside
good here, I hope. than a pit of spikes. Credit where it's due. Looks empty.
not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. to see the boss. <laughs> Mind your manners now, or he'll throw you in the pit. Get down there and stop complaining. Goblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks is the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the Goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. Your skull sizzles with Ragslin's displeasure. His mouth is still, but you hear his demand. I speak for the Absolute, and I say, you stay. I've got plans for you, lass. And there's no true soul yet who turned their back on the Absolute. You choke on black smoke as the Hobgoblin bellows his incantation. 
I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, I'll call deck, Shulko Kank! The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and are questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Rexlin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Rexlin's voice, you ask. Who is the Absolute? Rexlin frowns in confusion at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Damn it! That tells me nothing! You feel Ragslin's suspicions. He'd never have asked about his master. You remain in control. Barely. What did the killer want? Ragslin's mind is clouded by doubt, surprised once more by words he didn't expect. Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Githamans, they know something. Suspicion floods Ragslin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Why were the Gith chasing that ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the...? The corpse collapses, silent once more. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat! No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> the damned trow was right. Can't let her get all the glory. Like I said, I got plans for you. Report to the trow. Minsar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Say that again. Cause I know I didn't just hear you refuse the Absolute! Falling in line. Just what I like to see. No prizes for guessing what this weapon thereafter really is. Yes. Honors you! That's the case. We've got more problems than just the worms in our heads. With the dead. Rips and streams of the blind. Their city will be raised to the ground. And I wouldn't dawdle if I were you. I doubt true soul Minthara has much patience left. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Rivers and streams will flow with their blood. Their city will be raised to the ground. And they'll know she is absolute. You sit at the table. Your drink from a barrel. You see that I what's it floating about? Best hope it don't take a fancy to ya. Unless you like playing hide and seek when you're trying to take a damp. It's a floating eye, mate. What do you reckon? Bloody spying on us. The big wigs at Moonrise like to be involved, the drow says. Load a trollop. Just don't trust us to do what we do best. Killing things. of lashes, loads of hunters, and a few pariahs to carry the pout. Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue. A limb. Ain't no use without my limbs. The lad'll make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. 
One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul in such a grotesque form. The Absolute has a place in her heart even for Dathir. Her heart is more generous than mine. Join my hunt, fairy, and obey me. This tribe is mine to command. If you have business here, then you report to me. You will join my hunt. They are servants of the Absolute. In sufficient numbers, they are an effective force. Expendable and willing. But they do not have the wits to lead this hunt with me. Do you? Interesting. What do you know of this druid? If you were sent here to hunt him, perhaps you can help me. The druid makes his home in a nearby sanctuary where his followers worship a false god. I intend to find it and destroy it. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Patience wears thin, true soul. The hunt must begin. Destroying it will demonstrate our power. Soon, all false gods will cower before the Absolute. You would dare. The darkness will take you, Iblith.
won't work.
again. Can't afford to let up. Try something else. Do you think the dwarf is ready yet? I'm hungry. Fast. I must heal.
I wonder if this is worth the cost.
to press ahead. Shoot it arrows at this door. Stop bleeding. Just stays back up. There you are. Yeah, thank you. You got something jingling in your pocket? Looking to spend it?
Get moving. I've got other customers. Deep and move. Here goes nothing. Fresh his arm with me bare hands. Weaker than pigs is humans. Oh, you got him good. And who are you? Another pest? Elves. Think you rule the world. Ha! The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your lithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Think you can ignore us? Think you're so high and mighty? We're pure. You better learn you have go on. Or I'll wipe that nasty... End him or leave him. But don't you dare grovel to this slug. Come here. Shit, worm. I can still bash your face in. Yeah, I think I will. Oh, 
nuke sting. <laughs> <laughs> not leave any loose ends. This one might reward Mercy with backstabbing. Yes! Yes! There! There! I've oh, done it! <laughs> My, this place is fun. Next, the 
time to rest. One day I'll catch a break. You know, I was just thinking about you, remembering our little encounter in the night. And I am very grateful. It did get me thinking about the others, though, how they might taste. And <laughs> not that anyone's volunteered. It's just an idle fancy. Alas. It doesn't hurt to ponder the question, though. Take Shadowheart, for example. She strikes me as having a heavy, enigmatic flavor. Vintage port on two legs. But the gif? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. Sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. <sighs> Absolutely. A mere thought experiment. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? A fine choice. She is enticing. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. Uh, there's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Uh, sweet dreams. I need a quick word. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. There are many answers to that question. None are important. Correct. No. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Because it is my calling, there is little else to explain. A matter of coin.
very well. I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought Nettie might be able to help you in the Druid's Grove. But all she did was reaffirm the danger. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. The parasites were merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. I'm not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than illithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. I have powers of my own. Unique powers. But know that we are alike. Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells. They need me. I have to go. No. It isn't safe. The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can. But sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. Follow the cultist's trail. They will lead you to their masters. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it.
I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. And while we're at it, we can see how many more of these little worms we can harvest. Now, was there anything else? Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn, kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the absolute cultist's lair, and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us. How far into illithid madness it could drag us. Yes, the one truth that fell out of its cankered lips. There will come a battle, but it will be won with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. a confession. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. Yes, all that is true. I am cold as the sea of night. But you have stoked fires I didn't know I possessed. I swear, you would tear the horns off one dragon for plunging into another. You've gained my respect, and more still, my yearning. When I come near, your odor alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. If you must know, Vlekith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. Can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the Undying Queen's name. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver, and my body steel. 
I am what I must be. Say what I must be. To survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. Ah, enough talk. I will be plain. I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight. Perhaps later. But I want it all the same. Do you? Your loss, I fear. One day soon, you will wonder how my lips might have tasted, how my fingers on your skin might have felt, and you will wish you could return to this lost moment. I had another dream, which I suppose means you did as well. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the absolute, but wants us to embrace the tadpole, venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector, or we're walking into a trap. On one hand, they seem useful, but on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from, and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. And some might say eels and turnips boiled in milk is a delicacy, but some are fools. I'll make my own mind up. I'm sure you do, but please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Fine. Just keep out of matters that don't concern you. There's something I want to talk to you about. 
something important. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable. on everything. Never wanted the easy path. What's in here?
Should mind my step. Absolute's got room for everyone, long as you don't defy her. And nobody's that stupid. If the Absolute says to take orders from a drow, then we tow the mark. No questions. Praise his ever-bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbyet! You know McGlubbyet, a tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as gormless as the rest of them. I'm locked up like a bloody elf. I'll tell you why. Because I'm loyal to McGlubbyet. Because I ain't having my head turned by some upstart god. Yeah. My old tribe's fallen for this shite. Traitorous bastards. The great absolute brings us together. Drow and gnolls and goblins all braiding one another's hair. It's a load of sight. It won't last. They'll be tearing into each other soon enough. Sodom all. I'll wait it out in here, praying to a real god. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the Scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathar, goddess of pain. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? The gentleman being held next door, my... Acquaintance is working on him. 
I believe. While I was thrilled to be invited here, I must confess, I find the goblins and their methods crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? You know the Maiden of Pain. How refreshing. But there is more to us than that. Yes, we worship her through pain, often our own, but it is an intimate and loving thing, one we offer up. If you would permit it, I can show you firsthand. By all means, let us see what his skilled hand might get up to. Is that a promise? Oh, a pity, though. You would have known such sweet relief at my hands. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to my own worship. In my pigeon, he's mine. Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Then catch one on your own. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. who you was. A shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Ah, oh, what's a bit of metal between allies, hmm? I'll do one better. Tell me where we can meet each other once we've slipped the goblin yoke. And I'll offer much more than gold. Knowledge, my friend, is priceless. Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'd be happy to share my findings... ...once we've found somewhere safe to parley. An invisibility potion, my friend. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God, it'll do the trick. Well, I suppose this is goodbye, my friend. I wish you the greatest of luck, and I hope I shall recall you favorably in my records of the day's events. I'll slip away when the coast is clear, and I wish you the greatest possible luck in your mysterious endeavors. Ta!
don't know what the Absolute wants with your kind. She's already got us. the one to judge. See what this does. Give me trouble now.
I'll take that. Nothing. With a flick of the wrist.
safely. Maybe there's another entrance. way.
I wonder if the gods are watching me. Victory awaits. Taking position. Welcome, rest. Open up. If not over, then through.
What's hiding here? Not be cursed. This whole place reeks of necromancy. Someone there. I'll just help myself. <laughs> Someone doesn't like visitors. All's well that ends not as bad as it could have. Go. This whole place reeks of necromancy. Seems simple enough. What a day. Let's move. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors.
one back home will ever believe this. Let's see. Another step forward. No traps, please. Armed scribes. But no sign of a struggle. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. worship the scribe of the dead. to our advantage. away.
is your end. Can't give up. Not now. is through. Have to keep going. On the move. Thank <laughs> you. 
take two. my fury. They didn't want to surrender their valuables, even after death. Fools, rising from the dead just to protect some dusty old baubles. What's inside? Swift as my feet can carry me. What's in here? A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Watch the shadows. For gold, I'll take it. Let's get going. On my way. The inscription is in a language unknown to you.
I got stuff if you got coin. Get moving. I've got other customers. Someone ought to... to drink to absolute speech for a worm like you. Or be chosen to hear her like the boss and priestess. All the great chasers are dead. Bunny cop, split cook, legend. You lost. Nothing beats the taste of stolen beer. <laughs> Chases are dead. Run 
Johnny Cobb, split foot, tark the toenail. Legends. Oi! Who took him keep free? It was the style! Visitors. Right tool will do the trick. There is work to do. Still breathing, despite everything.
wonder if Crash is all right. He's fine. Just enjoy your drink. Here we go. Couple turns should do it.
Open up. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Chosen to hear you're the boss and priestess. Strange. right here. The beasts came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wolves. But first, three more stones. Make it nice and bloody. Yeah! Hit his head! I want to hear more noises. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest.
to no fate. <laughs> these days.
pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but... Goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. Unbecoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. I am aware. I foolishly left it vulnerable to this rabble. There's work to be done. Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. As certain as I can be. If you have a better alternative, I won't stop you. I can't stop you, in fact, which brings me to my next problem. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the Drow Minthara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. So be it. May Sylvanus lend us nature's fury. Father 
can I go? Anything of use? Defended at any cost. I have nature's fury on my side. I wonder if the gods are watching me. What's up for discussion? <laughs> Thank you. 
that our enemy's corpses nourish the ground. Come on, can't stay idle. Every enemy of nature.
So that's progress. These boots have seen everything. Speak to me. So be it. Guide my step.
the move. It does it. Sometimes the only way out is through. like fun. This is funny. I'll be the one laughing when things turn ugly. Safer in here, and I dare.
Come on, then. Oak Father's blessings. work to do enemies to kill Taking position. Thank you. 
much to do. Over I go. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Swift as my feet can carry me. for the Oak Father's realm. Yes, here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Shall we continue? No one back home will ever believe this. I wonder if the gods are watching me. The scent of blood is in the air. I won't give in. I am ready. At least things have stayed interesting. A long way to go still. What now? Dread likely. She is absolute! Your drink from our barrels! You will reign! Let's prowl. Leave the tricks. The absolute honors you and slays her enemies. She'll fertilize the fields with the dead. Rivers and streams will flow with their blood. Over here. Their cities will be raised to the ground, and they'll know she Just is absolute.
life you took will not go unavenged, it seems. Ready. Oak Father, watch over your servant. Right away.
These boots have seen everything. Fertilized. With the dead. What shall it be? Never a dull moment. Can't give up now. Looking ahead. Keep your distance, darling. Watch your back. There's no time to waste. Action, not reaction. An efficient path. Can't afford to stay idle. Nature's blessings. Are you ready to do what is necessary? The Grove is counting on us.
father guide me. Got to keep fighting. your servant. Hmm? Let's get going. Let's move. I should mind my step. Take this way. Nature's blessings. Are you ready to do what is the grove? Still breathing, despite everything. Need to find a way forward. Listen. The absent honors you and slays her enemies. She'll fertilize the field. With the dead! Rivers and streams will flow with their blood! will be raised to the ground! And they'll know she is absolute! You like breaking. Just keep your hands to yourself. You're being watched. Let's spill some blood.
did it. You actually did it. The leader's dead. <laughs> Praise Sylvanus. No, that's not right. Praise you, my friend. The Grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Killing's never my first choice, but those three were too dangerous to leave alive. Let's get out of this pit first, Lee. Return to the Grove. I'll make my own way there. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. Where do I go from here? I'm ready. Whatever it takes. I'll go this way. On the move. No time to waste. <clears throat> 
See what this does. Wonder what's past this. I'm so tired. How do people do this all day? Everything.
table now, playing with doodads later. Now is not the time. position.
in the act of killing. A fight is unavoidable now. not over, then through.
life, now yours will be taken in turn. A fair exchange, perhaps. What path lies before me? Hmm. Nature's blessings. Are you ready to do what is necessary? The Grove is counting on us. Watch your back. Just fertilize the fields with the dead! 
Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. One true way. I am ready. She is absolute. What now? Killing's never my first choice. But those three were t Let's get return by. This way. Light on my feet. Gladly.
only deal and move. Good here, I hope. I can crack that open.
scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Very good of you. Thank you. Hal Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Excellent. Lead the way. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. True. That was fun. Still, I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on the head and vinegar for wine. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? Not at all. I was hoping for companionship. And, well, maybe a little dare. Figuratively speaking. Uh, not with you, just to be clear. I mean... Can you imagine? <laughs> Ugh, no. Anyway, don't let me keep you. I'm sure you have someone else to sniff around. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your moisture. How torturous for us both that I'll never get a taste. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. Always a pleasure. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? I think you'll find I've been showing ample concern for myself since the moment we met. I mean, desperate people, like those refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shah. But there'll be time for penance later. Share a bottle with me? We should wait a little while, until the others have drifted off. Best not keep me waiting. I'd prefer not to entertain myself. Fate 
spins along. Dost thou require a new ally? Oh. How about two tiefling queens, frightful and fierce? That's more like it. How many goblins did we kill? Ten? Let's make it twenty. <laughs> That's my girl. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. In truth, I rarely imbibe. The stuff goes right to my head. Before you know it, I'd be breaking into song or declaring love to the first person I laid eyes on. then you have never heard me singing, which makes you very fortunate. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people.